Hi guys, um, this is a video about basically uh, recovering your passwords from a uh, previous network connection that you've had. So um, just say you had a DSL connection coming through your phone line and um, you had a password for that we, and you don't use it anymore maybe. So uh, we can go in there find that connection, that network connection, and see the password. Uh, we can also delete it um, if it's an old network connection that we don't want anymore. Uh, we can do a number of things. So what I'm going to do first is um, open a command window by pressing the Win key and the little letter R on the keyboard. And this run box comes up. And I'm going to type in CMD. And then press Shift and Control and Enter. Now that will take you into the admin section, which is Windows slash System32. Okay, so that gives you admin privileges. Now I have copied my commands that I'm going to use in this video onto a notepad here. So the first one is this one. So we're going to copy that just so I don't have to remember everything. And we're going to go back to where we were. We were on the command window. Okay. So let's just leave my little things there and I'll go through and explain them as I go. So, oops, playing up a bit actually. All right. Oh, it doesn't want to do that. It wants to go up or down, which I do not want it to do. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is the first command is um, net sh wlan show profile. Now, just paste it in there. Oh, I don't know whether I've copied it properly. We'll go and copy it and then we'll paste it into this. So paste, and then we're going to press enter. Okay. So this shows us the network connections that have been on my computer previously. And obviously I can see that there's a few old ones in there. And we probably have to delete some. So we can pick out one and see the actual password for it and everything. So the first command that we use to show the actual um, profiles. So what we want to do is get the next one, which is the same as you can see as the first there, but then we just have to put the Wi-Fi name and key equals clear. So let's do that. So we're going to go here, we're going to press space, and we're going to, in quotes, we're going to put the network name here. So let's get that one. And I don't know whether it's going to let me paste it or not. It did let me do the last command. There we go. So what I did then is I actually just used the keyboard. So I selected it, pressed Control and C to copy it, and then Control and V to paste it. But I clicked the mouse in the right spot. So what we're doing is picking out a network that we used to use, and we're going to find out the details. So key equals here. Okay, so we're going to press Enter. Okay. Now it's giving me the name of the network, the network type, the key content means that that is the password for it. I have no idea what network this is. I definitely don't use it. I do not need it to connect to the internet. So now I'm going to delete it. That's the next step. Now, if I was using this network, um, I would go to key content and see that the password is here. But obviously this is use, useless right now because I do not have this network. 
anywhere around. So we're going to delete it. So let's go up here on the next thing. And we've got the next command that says net shwlan delete profile and then name equals whatever. So we're going to copy that. We're going to go back to our window. Okay. We know it's this network, so we'll just... It's actually copied the password. Interesting. We don't want to do that. Now it's copying everything for me. Thank you very much. Right. So we want to put in the command to delete now. So here we go. It's done a fair bit here. So that, that's a bit of a bugger because it put that in there as well, but I didn't want that. So I'm going to delete it all again. I have to go like this. Delete. Now, I just want that one. Net SH, WLAN, delete, profile, name equals. Now, I have to backspace and put the actual name of the network. So, it's not the key content because that is the password. Uh, this one here is the name. And it's also here in brackets, but we're going to get it like this. We're going to press Control and C on the key keyboard, see if that works. And there we go, we've pasted it in. We press Control and V and it's pasted in. So what this is going to do is it's going to delete that profile. Okay, so I'm going to press Enter and then we're going to go back and make sure it's gone. So it says it's deleted the profile, okay? So now we're going to go back to the original list, um, the original command that shows us the list, okay? They're quite simple to remember. You don't have to copy and paste if you don't want to, if you don't mind typing, uh, but I don't. So I've actually just pressed enter as well, accidentally, so I just wanted to show the list. Now, what we can see here is that there, the one that I did delete is actually gone. Okay, so that's how easy it is. Now, you can delete all of those and start again and just have a clean slate, or you can just go and delete these ones that you don't want. Um, you can do all sorts of things. Um, People used to come to my house and say, oh, what's your Wi-Fi password? And I'm like, oh, God, I can't remember. So just get on here, um, do what I just did, as in expose everything, like um, pressing in this one here, this one here, show profile, put the name in, and key equals clear. That brings up all the passwords for that actual network. Okay, so and then we deleted it. So we deleted the uh, whole network, right? Deleted it. Now it's not in the list here. All right. Um, yeah. Um, so if you want to know your password, or there is another way of transferring um, a profile to another computer. We can quickly do that, I guess. Let's go. Wait a minute. Oops. Pull that down a bit. Um, okay, so this one here, we have to put a Wi-Fi name in and um, also the path to the folder and everything like that. So let's just take this first part and copy it. So we're going to export a file. So I'm not going to show you how to import it because you'll get the idea, but... Um, we're exporting it right now, so you can import it to another computer. Okay, so let's do it. So we're going to go to the command prompt again, go down the bottom. All right, we're going to paste this part in, and um, 
we're going to export uh, this old one here, Starlink Home. Okay, so let's just go back a bit. Now let's see if we can copy this. Right, we're going to go Control C on the keyboard and Control V and it put it in there. Now we're putting it in quotes. And we're just going to get the rest of it now. So I'm going to go like this. Copy. Go back to my window. Oops, disappeared of course. Right now I just want to bring that up a bit okay so we've got the quotations as space and then we've got folder slash backup it's going to be called backup in C drive okay so there was a few extra things to get this to work at the moment so one was that firstly I had to go and create the actual folder so I went and made a folder in C called backup then I also added an extra slash in there okay so that seems to work so um, now I've pressed it and it says that it's saved the file. So now we're going to go to C drive, backup, and then see if it's got that XML file in there. Okay, so we're going to go down to File Explorer, go to this PC, go to Windows, oh not Windows, sorry, C drive. And now we've got to look for this folder. So all I did was come into C drive and press new folder and say it was a back, I called it backup. Okay, so I double click on it. Okay, so there is my profile. So you can't just open this, it's a bit of a code situation, but you can see that it comes with a its password and all the details to set up this on a new computer. Okay, so I got that. That was good. That worked. Now, what you want to do is put that little file on a USB stick. So I have another um, video in, you know, up on YouTube about how to transfer files to a USB stick if you don't know. Uh, it's just about copying and pasting, but you've got to plug the USB stick in first. So then you would do that on a new computer. You take that information to a new computer and import it. All right. So, um, and for all of those um, commands that I've used, they will be in the um, post that a more detailed post on my website. You can go and get all of that for free. All the um, codes and everything are there. If you want to use this, maybe you just want to see your own Wi-Fi password or anything like that, or maybe you do want to export your details for another computer. All right. Um, thanks for watching. Um, if you found this video useful, just um, like and subscribe to my channel. All right, see you later.